Hi everyone! Today I will talk about my first approach to lost wax casting. I was looking for a model with voids and good details, but also that was not too big and difficult to print, so that I could make one in a reasonable amount of time. This pure wax filament is made by machinablewax.com specifically for lost wax casting. Although it might not be the easiest filament to print with, with the right setting and a good amount of hairspray on the heated bed, it printed really well on my CR10. A really cool feature about wax is that it can be polished with mineral spirits, so with a rag you can get rid of layer lines. And since wax melts at low temperature, you can use something like a soldering iron with a copper sheet tip to glue different pieces together. So, this was my very first attempt, and since I don't have a vacuum pump yet, I'm mixing some plaster that I apply with a brush in all the voids to make sure all details will be transferred in the mold. You can also see that uh, with my first attempt I made this wax tree with another keychain on it, but later I decided to go for the key only for convenience. After 30 minutes or so the plaster is solid and I can make the actual mold with a section of cardboard tubing and more plaster. Once it's filled all the way up I let it dry overnight and uh, we can see the first problem I had with dust wax casting, the burn out process. So, at first I tried to burn the wax with my electric oven. I set it up to 200 degrees C for 4 hours straight, but the wax wasn't really going anywhere. So I had the great idea of placing the mold on top of my forge, but of course the heat was too much and it broke apart. At this point I decided to try with my gas barbecue set at minimum. I used some cans to make flasks and I also tried to make one of the two molds with a 50-50 mixture of plaster and sand instead of plaster only. I left the mold there for 6 hours straight, then it was time to pour the molten aluminum. Here you can see that the mold made with only plaster has many cracks, while the other one don't. Well, here is the second problem I had. The mold does not feel at all. I think this happened because the object I was trying to cast was too small for a gravity feed. But after breaking the mold I was able to see that all the wax has burned out. For this last attempt I scaled the model by 200% and I made a much bigger gate with foam. This is a better flask I made with a scrap piece of steel tubing by drilling a bunch of holes with a step drill bit. And again, since it works much better before, I'm mixing the plaster for the mold with fine sand.
and after cleaning it up with water, here you have it, an aluminum hearthstone key. All that's left now is to clean all the spears and polish it up a bit. I think it's amazing to see how the details transfer so well and I already have many project ideas where this technique will come in very handy. If you are interested in getting a spool of the wax filament, check the links in the video description because the guys over machinablewax.com gave me a coupon code for you to have 10% discount on your orders. Thank you for watching and see you next week.